Nalani was raised in a small town just outside of Vancouver, BC. She attended a fine arts school studying integrated arts, dance, theater, and music. Nalani spent much of her adolescence training gymnastics and dance. And after graduating high school in 2010, she signed with BMG Models, which took her overseas. Mainly booking commercials, she came home and decided to dive deeper into her newfound love for acting. Nalani began theater training at the Actors Foundry with Matthew Harrison, and in 2017, she was cast in Hacks as Lucy, which was the start of her career. Since then, she has worked on commercials including McDonald's, Amazon, and American Apparel. She has also worked on The Magicians, Altered Carbon, and performed her first stunt on The Man in the High Castle. To this day, Nalani continues her training at Railtown with Anthony Shim, John Cassini, and Kate Twa. In her free time, she can be found creating collage art, spending time with the people who keep her sane, or developing a new skill. Glow Radio is a podcast for sassy entrepreneurs who are in the process of quitting their much-hated day job to work for themselves full-time. You can expect weekly conversations with unapologetic creatives, business owners, and influencers. We discuss tips on how to reach your goals, manage your time, and keep your sanity while being a major boss babe. We are Jacqueline and Clara, your favorite hype women who will cheer you on and push you to create the life that you want. We're business strategists, career and life mentors, and wellness advocates. Hit that subscribe button and follow us on IG at Glow Radio Co. Stay sassy, babes! Before we get started, we wanted to thank Bluehost for partnering with us. We're so happy to use the best hosting service that doesn't break our bank. Bluehost powers over 2 million websites, including ours. They offer 24-7 support, a money-back guarantee, and is the number one recommended web hosting by WordPress.org. If you're an entrepreneur building or revamping your website, we highly recommend Bluehost as a trusted resource. Sign up for your website hosting today at www.bluehost.com forward slash track forward slash woglow. That's W-H-O-A-G-L-O-W. Hello! Hi! Hi. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode, everyone. Today we have Nalani oh. with us. So how about you Hi. tell us a little bit about yourself and your journey for people who don't know you. <laughs> when I first, I was like, okay. Um, I'm so bad at talking about myself. Yeah. So, let's <laughs> just try. Um, what, what about me? I don't know. I'm like, I, what do you like? What do I like? What interests you? Oh, anything that's not normal. <laughs> oh, I like that. I like, I like that. I can yeah, feel that. I go yeah. a bit against the grain. I mean, obviously with my shirt here, it's like the super Asian inspired yeah. thing. <laughs> um, yeah, I I was a gymnast. And so I like to move with my body. I was always, always like a dancer or a gymnast or doing things like very active. Uh-huh. Um, yeah, so that's that. Uh, now I work as a model and an actor. That is my full source of income. Mm-hmm. Oh wow! So like yeah. full time, full yeah. time, yeah, yeah, fully full time, um, which is not always awesome, but a lot of fun. Yeah, it's very re- rewarding. Yeah. How did you get into acting and modeling? Um, I kind of honestly, I fell into it, like. I never thought that I would be a model or an actor. I was a really shy kid. Like that's I think that's why like I was always a gymnast or a dancer because it was you never had to talk or like mm-hmm. use your voice in, in yeah. that type of expression. It was just more physical. Um, but I did a photo shoot with a local photographer, and he hired me for a a newspaper ad job. Mm-hmm. So I worked with him every once a month, and yeah, just so since then I just kept booking jobs through that and then I got scouted and this kind of like happened I was like oh wow okay so <laughs> I you're guess part of what an I'm agency doing. right now yeah yeah I have a, um, a modeling agent and a talent agent um, both in Vancouver yeah would you say that most of your jobs are local 
or do you travel a lot? Or? Yeah, most of them are local. When I was younger, I was scouted by an agency in Chicago, and I worked from there. They, she sent me to Thailand. So I worked in Thailand for a couple months, and then in China a little bit. But most of my work now is local. For now. Yeah. Like, I want to go other places, but for now it's in Yeah. Yeah. How, yeah. how did that first agency scout you? Like, how did they find you? Um, I was in a, um, it was kind of like a, um, what do you call it? Like a competition type of thing. Mm-hmm. You like sign up, um, and then there's a bunch of scouts from different places and they basically are like, oh, like we want this girl or that girl. So I met okay. with a couple different ones because I was scouted by a few, a few different agents. Like I caught their attention. <laughs> and then, yeah, I did this girl, this woman, Shay, from BMG in Chicago. We just, like, connected right away. And I was like, you are awesome. And, she, yeah. Yeah. That's yeah, so, so cool. cool. So yeah. how would you say, because you, I know you mentioned that you're not really good at expressing yourself before. So how did you kind of break out of that shell? Um, yeah. D- yeah. Still struggling? <laughs> Still struggling. <laughs> I mean, like, for, like, right now, I'm like, yeah. Oh, yeah. I can't <laughs> talk about it. <laughs> But but if it's like camera action scene yeah. one, you're yeah. like, you're like oh. hey. I find if it's if it's not my dialogue or if I'm like reading a script or something, then then I'm like telling a, a story. Then yeah. it, it's you know then that's that's where I can express. But when I'm just here, like okay, tell me about yourself. I'm like, oh, <laughs> everything is just like my brain goes blank, and I'm like, I don't, I can't, I don't know. So I'm working on it. I'm definitely working yeah, on yeah. it. Um, I express myself in the way I dress. I think because clothing is like a chosen layer of skin mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and yeah that's cool yeah we're finding ways <laughs> yeah, to yeah, do yeah. It. yeah so when was like your big break like your first big break um um or like well, a great milestone yeah, yeah like a memorable moment mm-hmm. in your career that you're like okay this is uh, it I feel honestly like I have yet to have one mm. <laughs> um I think though going to Thailand because I was pretty young I was 19 when I went uh-huh um yeah I mean going going there that was like a choice I was like okay like I'm actually gonna go and try to be a model and, mm-hmm. like do this as a thing um I worked quite a bit when I was there too which was awesome um, and then I came back home and I was like kind of depleted. I was like, I don't like this industry. Like it's mm-hmm. kind of, there's a lot of dark sides to it that a lot of people don't realize or don't see. Um, yeah. Then I, I came back here and then I started acting and then I guess, well, I worked a McDonald's commercial mm-hmm. uh, like a year and a half ago now. And then since then I feel like I've been booking more and more jobs. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So awesome. Awesome. Yeah. yeah, that's really good. <laughs> yeah. Um, I believe that you mentioned to Jacqueline before that you struggled with anxiety in the past. Yeah. So wh- what did you do to kind of overcome that? Because obviously a lot of people struggle mm-hmm. with anxiety. So yeah. Definitely. I, I haven't overcome it. <laughs> but I, I think I'm just it's just learning how to deal with it. You know, because yeah. you're right. Everyone has anxiety. I feel mm-hmm. like now in this age that we live in with our phones and everything being – readily available yeah. instantly it's like it gives us this this anxiety of like wanting something that we don't have right now yeah um how i deal with it i uh, i don't know like breathing exercises breathing, yeah or... i mean i i i will like put on a, a song right now i really like body mm-hmm. i don't even know who it's by but it's like this like crazy dads and i just like move yeah. and shake my body as aggressively as i can and uh-huh. i just like I, it helps so any type of movement um I, my therapist also told me if you put cold water on your forearms, yeah, that soothes the nervous system. Oh, oh I like know that. Some, yeah, like yeah, if I ran a water. faucet over, ooh, yeah, right. I should try that. Yeah, yeah, and it it does. I'm like, oh, okay, good, I'm good, I'm good. Everything's fine. <laughs> Everything's fine. I'm alive. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So in like the acting and modeling industry, there's usually like a lot of pressure to look a certain way or people say that you have to like be thin or whatever. Like how mm-hmm. do you usually handle that type of pressure? Mm, yeah, that is awesome. It, it's, uh, I don't even know how I handle it. I'm getting better at it. It mm-hmm. was, it was more, it was a bigger thing when I was modeling because that, I mean, 
in Asia when I was there, my agent would measure me and weigh me every day. So we would wow. go to the agency. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I remember this one time I was gaining a bit of weight, and my agent was like, "Okay, like look at like look at you." Like she would show me my measurements and how they fluctuated, yeah. and I. He was like, if you don't lose this amount of weight, I'm not going to give you your allowance for the next week. And, like, that, that I mean, I was like, yeah, I was like, what? I just remember that being, like, so traumatic. Oh, my God. I can mm. imagine someone slapping a drink oh out of your hand. Like, yeah, you right, can't like, have this. Oh, my God. <laughs> you're like, oh. Yeah. Basically, yeah. I'm like, what is this life? So, yeah, I mean, I, I definitely struggled with it a lot when I was younger because, you know, you're young and you're like, yeah. this person's telling me to do this. I'm like, I'm going to do it. You know? Yeah. Um. But but now I have just learned to. It's like you have to love yourself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Love your body, and it doesn't it doesn't matter like how big or, or small you are. And I think on Instagram too or social media, people are like only posting obviously the best of like, this is my body weight mm -hmm. or like you know that type of like showing off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I I think that if the less we do that. The, the better it is oh. for everybody. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, she just jumped out. <laughs> I don't want to talk to. <laughs> um, yeah, so it, it's just really just being comfortable in your skin as, like, cheesy and dumb as it is, but it's, mm -hmm. like, you have to be. And you yeah. have, I mean, I, in acting, too, it's a bit more forgiving because it's not so much about, well, it is about, how you, you know, it's like, yeah. it is, but it's not. And I try to just live a... Uh, active lifestyle because it's good for my brain mm -hmm. and then your body just kind of you know just be healthy yeah so you do mention of it of loving yourself so mm -hmm. what are some things that you do for self-care self-care so much oh my gosh i'm like such Teach an us. advocate Teach Teach all of it. Of love. <laughs> yes. um i journal a lot okay yeah journaling and like collage art mm. i feel there's just so many thoughts inside my head and it's you can't really i can't get it out obviously in language like yeah. in sentences what speaking yeah, yeah. <laughs> but by doing this I just I feel like it's kind of like everything inside me just goes out onto this page that I can visually see it mm -hmm. and I'm like oh I feel like I can just take a deep breath out you know it's like oh that's such a release that's a big one and then just writing even yeah I love mm -hmm. doing that type of stuff anything in nature like I love nature just nature is so beautiful <laughs> uh yeah like hiking, Dancing, hiking, yeah, mm -hmm. being by the water. I love the ocean. Um, yeah, just like taking in your environment, mm -hmm. I think is like huge. Yeah. How often yeah. do you like dance now, or do you take classes? Or yeah, um, I recently broke my foot. Oh no! So oh yeah, I remember you yeah. saying that. <laughs> yeah. When? Yeah. Um, it was about. Five weeks ago. No, oh no, no, no. Oh, my no. gosh. Not even, like, two weeks ago, I've been out of the cast. So oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, How so did that, that happen? Um, I was skateboarding. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. I got a new skateboard. I was way too excited about it. I went into the shop to get it, like, fixed up. And the guys in the back were just teaching me. They had, like, a little skate area. So these yeah. guys were, like, teaching me how to do a kickflip. I'm like, yeah, I got this. Oh, no, <laughs> no I don't. Kickflips are not easy. Because <laughs> no. you got to get it pretty high. You gotta, like, and I got it so high. I was like, okay, I got this. And then I just, I heard and it break. Oh. Like, oh. Nope. Like it was nope. just a landing it wrong. Yes. <laughs> yeah. That must have been so painful. I yeah. feel it. Like I feel it right now. <laughs> yeah, right? You're just like, ooh. Now we're good. But um, even then, I, so I had the, this cast on. Yeah. And I was in an acting class. Um, out in Penticton, Tempest, it was incredible. Um, but we had to do as an ensemble a dance mm -hmm. routine, and I did it with the cast on. So That's I amazing. would dance oh at gosh. any point in time. That is amazing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that is. So <laughs> I know. It's crazy. So, what piece of advice would you give someone who wants to pursue modeling and acting? Don't do it. Oh my god! <laughs> what if it's their oh, like passion and dream? <laughs> Just don't do it, guys. Don't, give don't up. Give up now. Give up. Else. <laughs> Honestly. No, I mean, like, if if someone were to just really, really want this, mm -hmm. you just you have to have a, a solid brain. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you have to know who you are and 
where you stand and what your views are and just be super open and vulnerable and okay with the the way you feel you know like I don't know as a model as more as an actor you are telling stories about other things you know so it's like you have to know where you stand so that you are able to go deeper into these characters or into these Mm -hmm. stories that actually matter um it's it's like it's is yeah it's it's insane I don't I remember I filmed this um short film two years ago well yeah two years ago um and we it was like a horror film and my boyfriend dies and I just remember like experiencing in the that horror film. in the horror film <laughs> yeah i was like even oh your my god <laughs> <laughs> like wait a second what? i was way too into that i was like oh my god <laughs> no no my fake boyfriend okay i have yeah. all these fake boyfriends yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was shocked. Like, <laughs> like, what? She sounds so cool about it. <laughs> no. no, but he, he dies in the film. Okay. And I just remember, like, experiencing that. It feels so real. Mm. And you you kind of have to, like, go there and then let it go. So, it, yeah. So it does kind of, like, mess you up a it little. It does. It totally... I mean, you're, like, you're opening up these scars that you've personally experienced and then also in these characters you've experienced. And, yeah, I mean, I've definitely... When I started acting, I didn't really understand that, you know? And I was like, oh, I just... I don't... I, I just didn't really understand the intensity of how it would feel because you were so invested in mm. these people that mm-hmm. it just it feels like you. Mm. Yeah. I see that's why you would have to kind of like cool it off a little yeah. bit. Self love. Yeah. 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 Definitely the letting go process. Letting yeah. go. Like, yeah. Oh my gosh. But I mean, if, if someone was really to want to do it, I mean, go for it. Like, it's, I love my job and mm-hmm. I wouldn't want to do anything else. Yeah. As frustrating as it is, and but I, I love it. That's yeah. good. Yeah. What would you say have been some of the most challenging parts of your career? I know you mentioned like so much, but like what's like uh, kind of like a more specific moment? Um Yeah, well I mean honestly being positive because you are constantly faced with rejection, mm-hmm. which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but that is a big part of being an actor. Mm. You know, it's like uh, more often or not you're going to hear like no and it's not even a personal thing. It's just mm-hmm. like you don't look this way or yeah. your hair's brown or, you know, your hair's blonde. It, like it doesn't matter. But facing that rejection when you're so close to getting a job. I mean, I remember so many times I'm like, you're on hold for this job. Like you, you're going to, you're going to work. And then you get all excited. And then, yeah. then like the next day they're like, no, sorry. Like, they went another way. I'm like, okay, <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Oh, so it is, rough, yeah. yeah. But I mean, it's just, that's just, that's the way it is. Mm. Yeah, I think yeah. that's that's a challenge because you, you know, you want to be positive about it, but then it's like, oh, okay, okay, fine. <laughs> like I'll, yeah. yeah, yeah. Would you say that's something that stresses you out the most, or is there something yeah. else that? Yeah, that stresses that stresses me out because I mean, then then that's that's a, a not you're not going to get paid. Like, yeah, you know, like where's yeah. my next paycheck coming? And I mean, any money that I do make goes back into acting class. Mm. Well, like I never really see money, which like that stresses me out. <laughs> <laughs> Starving artist, you know, is just, like a real thing. But well, how does yeah. so? Would you say all the actors and actresses they continue to take courses to upgrade themselves? Mm, yeah, um, I think yes. Not everybody does it, and I don't necessarily think it's good to be in class all of the time. Mm-hmm. But class is so important because it it grounds you and you get this sense of play, you know, like in an acting class, you can, you are allowed to just mess everything up and be Mm -hmm. messy and express yourself in those ways without any high stakes, you know, like, because if you're on set, you cannot, you you have to be on, Mm -hmm. like your time is money. Yeah. Yeah. So in acting class, I, I love, I love being in class. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Get more like freedom. Yeah. So much freedom just to play and yeah. Have that dedication to, yeah. to the craft. <laughs> what have been some of your favorite jobs that you've done in the past? Like certain brands you've worked for mm. or like certain shows that you've done? Um, oh my gosh. I recently actually worked for Arcteryx. 
And yes. That was amazing. We did, we filmed a video. Can't really talk about it, but we filmed mm-hmm. this video. Um, I think I liked, I had the most fun because I felt so free. Mm. You know, I was like, I felt confident and I felt like I I was there for a reason. Like they booked me because they liked me. And mm-hmm. I've never really, I've always had this like, oh, I'm not good enough, like that type yeah. of, you know. But this time I was like, no, I'm just going to go in there and do my job and have fun and whatever. And it was like the best experience I've had, I think, on set. Wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Are yeah, there any so. brands that you or shows that you want to be on or are looking forward to be on? Uh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> honestly, at this point, anything. <laughs> <laughs> no, I want to work on a, a Marvel. Ooh. I would love to work on like a superhero type of action, something. Um, I want to. I want to do stunts. I want to be a stunt actor. Mm. Um, Have you done any in the past? I've done one. Mm. Yeah. I did one for Man in the High Castle. Um, I had to fall downstairs. <laughs> <gasps> wow. How did they prepare you for that? You don't. You, do. you don't. It's just like, okay, you just you just kind of got to throw yourself and just what? do it. They what don't you- have like a stunt class or something? <laughs> no. To, like teach well, you how to <laughs> fall or something? <laughs> I mean, yeah. Like learning how to brace yourself and, okay. you know, that type of stuff. Yeah, but. No, you just kind of like, I mean, how do you practice? You just got to do it. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Were you like bruised? Like, why do I do this? I don't know. Yeah, I, I like, I cut my knee and Oh, whatever. my goodness. Like, oh, whatever. I was like, yeah, Lord. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's so intense. I totally I know. didn't know it was just like, go for it. So, yeah, you would definitely just, do more in the future. Yeah. I Yeah. I would love, like, if I could just work right now as a stunt actress, I would, that is the goal. That's the dream. Oh my gosh. So you can cool. work with Tom Cruise in his oh crazy stuff. Did, right? did you guys see the one where he Gal broke Gadot. his he broke his knee or broke his foot or something? No. It was Mission Impossible. He's doing the one where you're running across the building, jumping to another building, and he smashed his knee or foot or oh something. My goodness. And it went crack. Like Yeah. Oh, I was like, yeah. Oh, and God. he kept running too. Yeah. To finish the scene. He was yeah, like, yeah. Wow. Okay, let's go. Like let's go. Commitment. Yeah. Oh my god. I know. It's there's something a little bit off about stunt bubbles. <laughs> uh, yeah, so much respect. <laughs> yeah. If you're enjoying this episode so far, please comment, glow up on YouTube, and leave us a review on iTunes. Give us five stars, or we will find you. We will. But is that kind of what acting is like? Like sometimes you might screw up a bit, but the camera will still. Yeah. And you just kind of pick yourself up and try. Yeah. To- yeah. If you just are in involved and like so in this character i mean sometimes the words don't even come to you but you you have to keep it keep like living in that world yeah Hmm. oh my gosh like chills wow (laughs) that's crazy so do they like they kind of allow you to go off script a bit like add your own emotions and your words and like how much leeway do they give you for that uh it depends it really depends i mean I love, I, how do I explain? And when there's a writer, you want to, you know, honor the writer and yeah. the way it's written. So I mm-hmm. try to just go like word for word. That's also what we learn in acting class, you know, because it means for, for plays, especially because there's a style and there's a cadence of the writing that you, mm-hmm. you know, that is just the way it is. Mm-hmm. But there are some improv stuff, which is so much fun. And they'll, you know, like it's, it depends. I try to stick to the script because I'm just honoring the writer. Mm-hmm. Um, but if they do, like, usually they'll be like, okay, just, like, improv this part. I'm like, yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. How much yeah. time are you usually given to memorize the script? Um, It depends. I mean, for an audition, like, you'll get the script the day before or, like, a couple days before. So you have, don't have that much time. Oh, my God. But, but you only have audition. to audition for a yeah, scene a small part. or something. Yeah. And then it depends. I mean, I've I've been working on a short right now, and we got the script like months ago, so I've had a lot of time with it. Um, so it it just depends. Mm. Yeah, but I mean, if you're working, which I haven't yet, so if, if you're working on like a series regular or a lead, you're you're getting scripts like maybe even the day of or the day before to for that day. Oh so my it, goodness! It, yeah, you just I mean, but these actors are so incredible. They'll just read it and be like, "Okay, got it, <gasps> go." 
Like, I know. Is, like, wow. I know. Like to get to there, I'm like that. Ah, oh, so. Mine would wow. be like action. And I'm like <laughs> line, <laughs> yeah. line, please. <laughs> you fired in yeah, a day. No. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Imagine you're calling line on set. No, you'd be fired. <laughs> really? You just have yeah. to go with it. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> oh my okay. So pressures. Yeah, pressures. Right? Saying pressures like, don't do it. Don't do it, people. Don't change your mind. <laughs> Be a doctor. Be Go a be a doctor. Be a lawyer. Be an accountant. <laughs> oh Alrighty, so now we have a few fun random questions for you Ooh. to get to know more of your personality, less business now. Okay. So, random question number one Do you like, <laughs> do you like to order the same thing at restaurants or do you like to switch it up and try new things? <laughs> This depends okay. on what restaurant. I mean, I go to the Nam and I love the Dragon Ball, and mm. I will not get anything else. <laughs> but then again, like try anything once, you know. I yeah, love, yeah, I yeah. love food, so okay, yeah, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. What is something new that you recently tried for food? Food? Yeah. Um. Oh. Hmm. Ooh. <laughs> no. I haven't really been going out. I've been trying to cook more at home, so mm. that's new. Okay, okay. <laughs> Doesn't always taste that good, but... <laughs> that's fine. Um, <laughs> you win some, you lose some. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, definitely. I haven't actually tried anything that weird lately. Or just like a new restaurant? Mm. Anything like that? Um... No, I've been living this super boring life. It's apples. <laughs> apples. Apples okay, and that's juice okay. boxes. We were just talking about that before. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's all good. It's all good. Okay, next Got random nothing. question. What is one chore that you absolutely hate doing? Uh, all, all of them. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair. Um, washing the floors. Okay. Like, you no. Know, Nah. I think I hate that one too. Like mopping? Yeah, like you, mo you gotta like move stuff and I'm like, oh, I get so sweaty. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I hate What about vacuuming? Is that acceptable? Vacuuming? <laughs> yeah, vacuuming is <laughs> it's acceptable. That's fine. You know when you like hear all the dirt that's like getting out of the ground? You're like, that's yes. so gross. Yeah. Like, carpet yeah. is clean. Yes, carpet. <laughs> Vacuuming's better than mopping. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I hate mopping. I just yeah. Swiffer. Like, Swiffer. I don't even, even then, mop. I'm just like, I don't want to do uh, this anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Chores. So, third random question: Are you into horoscopes, and what is your sign? Yes, Ooh. I'm all about the horoscopes. Um, I'm a Sagittarius. <gasps> oh, she is. Too. Are you? Sag friends. Yes. They're the best. I know. Like, like so, honestly, like, the yeah. best. <laughs> the best. <laughs> the <whole bias. laughs> like Pisces sucks. <laughs> <laughs> but do you know what your moon and rising is? No, and you know what? Because I don't know when I was born. Oh, my mom has no idea. What? It's not on my birth certificate, what? which no. it should be because normally it is. It is. Oh, I have no idea. Yeah, so I, I kind of like, yeah, I don't know. What do you feel like mm. you are? Um, I want to say like Taurus. Like I'm, I'm very okay. Like, stubborn and like headstrong yeah I can be um yeah and like as yeah I know I haven't really thought about it um because well for your moon sign actually you don't need to know what time you were born you just need to know where you were born oh I know we're just like let's find <laughs> out yeah, we'll we're find out that after <laughs> yeah we'll do a follow-up a follow-up yeah. put it in our Instagram <laughs> I'm like forcing people to find out <laughs> what's your moon. What's your moon? It makes sense though. I mean, like being a Sagittarius, I I resonate with it so much. Oh, me too. Okay. I'm always like, that's me. That's, that's me. me. Yeah, yeah. 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 I'm like, I'm always going places or like wanting to do new things. Yeah. Or, like, you know, I stay in one job for a, about a year, and I'm like, I gotta, I gotta do something else. Yeah. Like, yes. I, can't, I can't do this anymore. <laughs> I've had so many career changes. I'm just yeah. like, nope. Yeah. Bored of it. No. Nope. Press something okay. else next. And yeah. you're always learning Thank something, you. and you're just like, okay, I gotta learn this. I'm gonna yeah. do this. Yeah. I'm gonna do this. Right. Yeah. It's so cool. Totally. Once you I feel that. you. Right. <laughs> Sag friends. Sag. Sag. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> 
Alrighty, so we're down to the last part of the podcast. This is going to be a super stressful or <laughs> pressure, pressure, this or that, pressure, this or that lightning round where the pressure is on. Because okay. we do judge a lot. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> we're so mean. I love it. It's so honest. Like, we're going to judge you. We're, we're going to judge, judge you. you. Okay, great. There, there is a wrong answer. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Your face <laughs> when like, I said oh stressful. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> number deep one. Deep breath. <laughs> number one. Pancakes or waffles? Pancakes. Ooh. Smoothie or acai bowl? Oh, acai bowl. Yoga or Pilates? Yoga. Hike or beach day? Hike. Duh. <laughs> <laughs> Pizza or pasta? B- 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 Pizza. <laughs> Both? Pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Bubble bath or face mask? Bubble bath. Mm. Dogs or cats? Oh, cats. Yeah. <laughs> because I made friends. But I forget with Clara's Claire, cat. Yeah, Mo. <laughs> Mo. Clara's mean cat. <laughs> so Coffee or tea? Coffee. Wine or beer? Wine. Sneakers or heels? Sneakers, 100%. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. That okay. was no pressure at all. Yeah. We're really fast. We're I know. You've been one of our fastest answers. Really? Yeah. yeah. Some people are like, it fast. Or the yeah. Next thing about it. You know? Yeah. Yeah. It's Improv. like your first instinct is like that, that. Improv yes. class. Okay. Improv. It's <laughs> just an actress. Just an actress. That's not. <laughs> just gotta go with it. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much. We loved having you on. Thank you. It we learned so a lot fun. about the magic of the modeling and the acting, and the acting life. world. Yeah. So thank you so much. Aww, and where can everyone you. find you on, on social media or online? Uh, where can you find me? Uh, my like my handle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> your gangs are so good. Your head. I'll stop. Um, you can find me at Nalani Wakita, um, or Loki Lani if you know what's up. <laughs> 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 That's like my uh, personal. Event. Okay. Cool. Cool. Yeah. Alrighty. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thank you for listening, Glow Babes. Give us our five golden stars on iTunes and we'll be your best friends, I swear. And please share this episode with your babes that need some glow and will benefit from this. Thank you. Glow.